Shalom, shalom. Give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Um, Shalom and um, double honors to the apostles and elders that rule well, teach well, sealing the elect, apostles of GMS, and um, Shalom to the whole full elect that's out there teaching this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Getting to the topic that, um, well, this topic is going to be a woman's role, you know. What should a woman's role be? You know, um, let me start off with um, Titus. Titus 2. Let's start off with what? It's lucky. Titus 2 and 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. You know. Let me read that again. Speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. So things that things that I teach, you know, that we teach, you know, is sound doctrine because it's it's the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, so we ought to speak the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Um, verse 2, the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and patience. You know, verse 3, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as, as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, you know, teachers of good things. Not give too much wine, you know what I mean? That that can go twofold. You know, not give too much um of these other philosophies and not literal wine, you know. Because as verse four says, they are they that they may be that they may teach the young women to be sober, you know, and to love their husbands, you know, to love their children. To be discreet, uh, chastised, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai be not blasphemy, you know. So they are to teach that sound doctrine, you know, and be discreet, you know, cover up, you know what I mean? Um... Not, not how the women are today with the cleavage all out, the ass all out, you know what I mean? That's that's not being discreet. You know, your body is for your man. You know, keepers at home, good, obedient to their husbands, you know. Obedient. Look at that word, obedient. Look at that word, discreet. Of a sound mind. Curbing one's desire, uh, like curbing one's desire imposes self-control. It says, curbing one's desires, you know, self-control, you know. That's discreet. Temperate, I mean, it's having caution, you know what I mean? Let's hear his word in the... Strong's G, 4998. Sofron. 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 Yo, that's discreet. Oh, sorry. Uh, I wanted to get the word obedient. <laughs> Ob- 
obedient. Strong's G, 5293. Upatasso. 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 And it says, to arrange under, to subordinate, to subject, put in subjection. You know, to subject oneself, obey, to submit to one's control, you know. So that's obedient, man. You submit into who's who's above you, you know, the man, you know. This is a well-known scripture. First um, Corinthians eleven and three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man. You know, so the head of the woman is the man. You know, that's who leads these women. We we ultimately lead these women to salvation. We can receive it. And the head of Amashiach is Yahweh. You know. Um, go back to uh, Colossians three. Three and eighteen wives submit yourselves unto your husbands as it is fit in your how about Shemiel Shai. Verse nineteen husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. So we ought not to be bitter against our wives, um, as men, you know. Cause, Cause if they wish to dwell with you, you know, you put the supposed to keep them, you know, as long as they're not hindering you from this truth, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to be with them, you know, just, and don't be bitter, you know, and um, verse 18, it says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. so our women, we not to be, y'all, y'all can't be sleeping around, you know what I'm saying, it says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. You know what I mean? So y'all don't have multiple husbands. Um, get that in Jeremiah. This goes twofold, but if Jeremiah three and one, they say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's <sighs> shall he return onto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet again, I mean, Salakia, yet return again to me, say of Yahweh. You know, so women, you can't, you can't um, go from one man to another and and the man that you left can't come back to you because that's you you polluting the land, you know. That's being a whore. You know what I'm saying? Um First Corinthians fourteen fourteen and thirty four. First Corinthians fourteen and thirty four. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it's not permitted unto them to speak. You know, so Joyce Myers. You know, that's a false prophet. You know, through the spirit, I believe she's an Edomite. So this word is not even for her, and she's teaching. She's teaching this truth way off. She's not even supposed to be teaching this truth. According to First Corinthians fourteen and thirty four, it says, "Let your woman keep silence." In the churches, for it's not permitted, not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, under control, you know, as also saith the law. So that's the law, you know, I'm saying verse 35. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, you know, for is it a shame for women to speak in the church? Yeah, uh, yeah. 
because these women, you know, these women are emotional, man. And this is another requirement for women. It says the women, Deuteronomy 22 and 5, the women shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, like power, you know. So, so that's an abomination for a woman to be wearing pants. You know, we all know when you look in the bathroom, look at the bathroom side, you see the man with the pants, the woman with the dress. You know, that's the proper apparel. Um, let me get, get a few more. All right, from Timothy's two and eleven. I'm um, start at eight. First Timothy's two and eight. <sighs> it's looking for. I mean, it says, "I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up their hands, without wrath and doubting." You know. And as it says in First Corinthians, let me just get that real quick. We don't go back. First Corinthians eleven and three, four. Every First Corinthians eleven and four. Every man prophesied, or every man praying, or prophesied, and having his head covered, dishonor his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head, for it is even as one. So it is even all one as if she were shaven. <sighs> you know, so it's a shameful woman to be praying up or reading with the um with her head not covered. That's uh I think that was first Timothy's two. Yeah, First Timothy two and nine. It says, "In like manner also that women adore themselves in modest apparel, with shame facedness and sobriety, not with broader hair or gold, or pearls of costly array." Array. It says, "But which becometh women professing godliness with good works." And it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer a woman not to teach. You know, see, that's a cut. It's a cut to these Christian pastors, man. It says, I suffer a woman not to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. And that's precept in First um, Corinthians 14 and 34, you know what I'm saying? And then it says, for Adam was first born, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. You know what I mean? Um, let's look at that. I want to look up a word. <sighs> um, yeah, I want to look up that word modest in the blue letter. Because we, our women ought to be in modest apparel, you know. Modest. Strong's G, 2887, Cosmios. Cosmios. Cosmios, well aware. Thayer's lexicon, related entry, Cosmios. Cosmios. Well arranged, well arranged, you know. Um, good behavior, modest. Real good. 
a lot of these women is out of order these days. You know what I mean? Um, let's see if I want to. First Peter's three and one. First Peter's three and one. First Peter's three and one. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word. Be warned by the conversation of the wives. You know, it says, or read that again. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be warned by the conversation of, of the wives. You know, so you have to listen to the man, you know. And it says, Jump down to verse six it says, Even Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughter is ye are, and as long as ye do well and are not afraid with any amazement. So that's that's order, man. Calling your man the Lord because who's the head of the women? The man. You know, a lot of these women they just too prideful, they don't want to accept it because this Western society got them brainwashed. To think that the man ain't shit. You don't need a man. <sighs> but the elect are man, you know. And we can we can lead you we lead y'all to salvation. You know. But uh let me get a quick script in Isaiah. Once Isaiah Four and one kick in, you know. That's when these women are gonna take heed. And it says Isaiah four and one. And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You know, so these women are gonna be fucking to us in that day. And that day is Jacob's trouble. Precept in Jeremiah 30 and 7. You know, that day is Jacob's trouble. And they're going to be wearing their own apparel. You know, they're going to um, eat the, eat, um, it says we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. You know, see, they're going to want to be with us, man. We're going to have, in 7, that's just, a complete number, you know, that could be any amount of women, you know, in that day of Jacob's trouble, you know. So we not tripping off these women, man. We we gonna we gonna get them, you know. Women would definitely come. <sighs> Lock it. Let me see if I can get another script. If not, I'm going to close out. Um, yeah, I got that. Oh, lucky. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get one more scripting now. And I'm parking for. You know, cause we can't just choose any woman. And we gotta, like it says, uh, it's a rock six and seven. Ecclesiastes six verse seven. It says, "If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him." You know, that, that can go the same way with these these women, man. You don't be quick to. Credit these women as your wife, you know. You gotta be, you know, you gotta be smart. You know what I mean? Let me go to Proverbs. End it off in Proverbs 31. It says, Proverbs 31 and 10, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far, far above rubies. You know, a virtuous woman, that's, let's, 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 let's get it. Mm. Virtuous. Efficient. Force. Army, my efficiency, wealth. A virtuous woman, that's, that's like a, so a woman with standards, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it means. It says, who can find a virtuous woman? A woman with standards, you know, for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband do it safely, trusting her, so that she, sh so that he shall not need of spoil, need of salakia, so that, so that he shall not, so that he shall have no need of spoil, you know, no need to spoil her, you know, because she, she are, she's content with what she has, you know. It says she will do good, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is not like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. You know, so this, she works, you know what I'm saying? She's not just a lazy bum. You know, so that's what a real woman uh, if you read that, um, verse 30, it says, Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that fear the Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, she s shall be praised, you know. There's few women out there that's sincere, you know. A woman that fears the Lord that shall be praised. Proverbs 6 and 32, but whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroys his own soul. You know, that goes for the men. You know, if a woman's married, don't don't try to go into her. You know, that's that's adultery. You know, that's 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 heavy judgment, you know what I'm saying? Once you come to the knowledge of this truth, you know, because the Lord, he doesn't give us the license to sin. Um, I know that's in a script somewhere. Uh, the license to sin.
I'm gonna just get the, another precept. Then we'll close out. Hebrews 10 and 26. It says, For if we wolf, if we, if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins. You know, so after if you study doing the same thing willingly, you know, after you know the knowledge of the truth, it remains no more sacrifice. You know, so you don't want to play with that. But um, I'm gonna close out with that. Lord willing, it was edify, edifying. Um, just a few ways a woman. A woman is a, is supposed to act according to the scriptures. It's plenty more scriptures, but uh, I believe I got a I got the point. Lord will is edifying, like I said, and I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakadash, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shah, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shah, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shah. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakadash. You know, how I'll be in a, the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah is the only, his only begotten Son. Um, give a double honors to the Apostles and others of GMS that rule well and teach well. Um, shalom on to the whole full elect, the brothers out there that's teaching his truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom on. Mawaf la babao. Shalom on.